Hello guys, it's Vita here. I am from Ukraine, specially live streaming for you from Sumy because I am living here and welcome for today's live stream. We have today one hour and today's topic is how to become attractive, how to make attractive uh, yourself to beautiful Ukrainian women. So I will give you briefly some information what I think the most important steps you should take, uh, some actions you should take or some um, personal features you should develop in yourself to be more attractive to Ukrainian ladies. Uh, and then if you feel you want to know something more about this topic, of course, feel free to ask me in comments after I will uh, finish my presenting the topic for you. So maybe you want to know some spe specific uh, tips or you want to know how it is here in comparison with Western or foreign countries. So please don't be shy and feel free to ask me after I finish my topic. Okay, so uh, let's get back to the topic, how to make yourself attractive to Ukrainian women. So actually many people uh, say that Ukrainian women, they are not uh, that easily impressed. You know, some of you I heard even think we are kind of uh, ice queens or something, because uh, they usually have like high standards and you simply don't have that many chances. In reality, guys, Ukrainian women, they are very easygoing and receptive. And they are absolutely in love with foreigners. So the lady who is going to date you and who came actually to date with you, she has absolutely good and positive attitude to foreigners. So don't think... Uh, she may have some prejudices. The lady who has prejudices uh, towards foreign guys, she won't date you. At least, you know, like when you were dating for a very long time and uh, this trip and this date uh, actually were planned uh, beforehand. So not only, um, not only do you have a jump start, but you can also get better by impressing, of course, more and more Ukrainian women along the way. So how do you do this? So what you should do? Uh, I prepared for you some comprehensive list with the, some special options. So you can listen to them, remember them and actually enjoy. Uh, nothing special, actually nothing like super difficult or super extraordinary, because I guess women Women are women everywhere. Women are even uh, women everywhere. And it's easy to impress if you know better women's psychology and a little bit of mentality. But don't forget that Ukrainian women mostly are representatives of old dating school. So some things which may be a little bit conservative, seems conservative or old styled or old fashioned or not modern. Uh, so remember that our women will appreciate these actions greatly. So, number one, don't try to impress her too much. Uh, the first rule is don't play the non-existent character Nobody in because nobody is going to like, uh, because this hero or heroic character simply not realistic. We Ukrainian women, we like real person with his real advantages and disadvantages with your best features and also with some weakness or some bad, uh, bad sides, okay? But we manage in most cases to deal with your um, worst sides. So don't forget about that and be who you are actually. So the best way to impress a girl is not to try too hard. You may wonder whether it works, but have you seen any woman who would positively react to a cocky and self-righteous man? So everybody here, at least here, hates poses, you know, and Ukrainian women hate them twice. So we don't like men who is boasting too much and who is showing off. You know, remember about that. Be who you are. So Ukrainians are sincere and genuine nation in general, not only women. So uh, who don't always follow the fake it till you make it agenda. Number two, show your natural talents. If you think that Ukrainian women are only drawn to money and power, you are wrong. 
So these women prefer charisma and self-respect over material things. Remember that we are talking about the right, the good ones, uh, if we talk about Ukrainian women. So show the smallest trick that makes you unique and your heart will melt in an instant. Number three, show your way, weird, uh, weird, sorry. So your strange side. And you don't have to be creepy, of course, but impressing a girl with your um, quirkness is good enough to become her boyfriend. So be impulsive if you are, be creative and try to surprise her with something interesting and uh, not extraordinary. Of course, only if you have some features. If don't, then leave it to professionals. So Ukrainian women love and um, usual uh, and eccentric men because native Slavics can be the way to traditional. So that can be very attractive for us. Number four, buy unusual presents. Not only unusual, but not specifically to the specific dates. So, of course, buying flowers and some sweets will be enough to impress a Ukrainian girl on a date if you are just started dating. But purchasing stuff for no reason, you know, just came to your mind and you bring something extraordinary just without any reason uh, so without any special occasion that will makes you an interesting boyfriend in her eyes number five uh, think about your dates in advance uh, ukrainian women hate being responsible for arranging a meeting because they are rather conservative and don't want to take the male role in a relationship so try to think it through but here I want uh, to make some clarification. Let's say you're just starting dating. So it's your first, second, third, fourth date, just the beginning. Of course, that's up to you to make these dates more interesting, more exciting, uh, more wonderful, right? But uh, if you are already in relationship, you trust each other, you are already like a couple and you just develop in your relationship, don't forget that our ladies can, um, not only can, but they like to make surprises. They like to make some special dinners without not uh, letting you know, uh, with candles, with some specific uh, food maybe, or create a meeting in some really wonderful and unusual place. Our women like to do that, but only with people whom they already know well, in whose attitude and feelings they are sure already and actually just to please you they can do such things that's very popular among ukrainian ladies but not at the beginning so at the beginning of relationship that's up to you to arrange some nice meeting and to create a special atmosphere uh, number six tease here Ukrainian women love family banter and men with a good sense of humor. If your teasing jokes are friendly and romantically inclined, the girl you've chosen will be on cloud nine. Uh, don't forget about balance between good and bad jokes. Okay, you remember we mentioned that good sense of humor. That's cool. And our women like when the men makes them laugh and smile and we find that even sexy and we consider that only really smart and the guy with a high IQ level can have a good right sense of humor. Don't forget about that. But of course, uh, be careful with the rude or um, some dirty jokes, you know, because until you know for sure that your lady at least uh, will like that style of jokes too. So be careful with that because they can be offended and they can show you some negative reaction. So number seven, be protective. Ukrainian girls love when a man is their rock. In all seriousness, protect her at all costs, no matter what. No matter what, even even uh, if you see some taxi driver talked with her with disrespect or something happened, of course, not in all situation when you come to Ukraine uh, and you are a foreigner, of course, due to lack of knowledge of language and mentality, you won't be able to protect her properly sometimes, right? But if she came to you, uh, for example, to your country, right? 
she must feel absolutely protected no matter what even if during the party or some meeting some of your relatives or friends make some unpleasant comments you know sometimes that can be uh i have my own experience with my husband when we just were um in at the beginning of relationship and we met with his company who actually uh, knew him from from his school years right so these people knew his previous wife and some lady she liked his previous wife and she was though i didn't do anything bad uh, so she was a little bit against or maybe suspicious towards me so she was keep telling me about how wonderful his ex-wife was and how nice couple they were but of course i had to keep silence right being new in this company uh, but at the same time uh, i want him to tell something to the lady and he did that because past is the past and if everything was so nice i wouldn't be here right now with vita so i feel protected even such small things uh, can really make your lady feel secure and trust you more don't forget about such things so uh number eight get to know your close circle that's very important getting to know uh, your partner's close circle is an important mission because you have to get along with your friends to meet with them sometimes right and family as well of course so think about the impression you are making to these people because all the time after the first introduction after the first meetings with your friends and relatives always lady will ask for their opinion that's rule here that's rule here and she will always would like to know what they think about you what they think about perspectives uh, uh about the relationship with you in the future and if you impress their own you know image so can be some trouble because people can make uh, some comments and she might think uh, longer or more seriously about if she should stay with you and number nine initiate the dialogue ukrainian girls love when men strike a conversation and text them first we mentioned that already you remember jor once made a video when he said don't text to girls i am completely disagree completely disagree because i am woman and i know what i'm talking about we girls like to text and sometimes for us it's even better and easier to express ourselves our thoughts our ideas and even and even to confess in our feelings for the first time that's very important for us uh the more often you text her the more emotional messages you send here the more emotional feedback you are gonna get of course if lady like you if she's sincere and genuine towards you so don't forget about that guys i personally believe that texting messaging uh, is a very important part between couple especially if you are a long distance right now uh, far away and even if you're in the same city if you are at work and she's at home no matter here or there in your country doesn't matter texting her how are you how are things did you go shopping what you managed to buy did you saw that old neighbor did she say you hello some small things will show her that you care that you care that you remember about her even being far away even being at work being busy but that will create absolutely strong and emotional connection between you and her i believe in that for 100 percent. so i am for texting always so remember about that so if even if our ladies play hard to get their heart is melting for sure so that doesn't mean that you need to send these images constantly or something but normal texting asking questions and showing you remember and you are thinking about your for the whole day will create a special atmosphere so and number 10 don't be a cheap skate so you can impress a ukrainian girl by always thinking about transportation holiday gifts romantic trips and of course you remember those tips 
don't look into menu too thoroughly when you invite your Ukrainian girl to the restaurant, to the dinner, or no matter, to drink or to eat something, because she will evaluate. That's not necessarily that the girl is greedy and try to check your volley and try to check uh, the ability of your budget, uh, but the level of greediness maybe maybe we don't like greedy men oh once again don't misunderstand me we are not talking about supper for 200 dollars or bringing uh friends and feeding all this company for the most expensive food that's not that but just try to be relaxed don't make scary eyes you know that you are afraid that the price the bill will be too high and so on and 11 keep tabs on her even if some women might think it's stalker behavior ukrainian girls do like that excessive attention remember that this attention must be reasonable and legal of course it's best if you start noticing for her new hair color or you know uh, or you take an active interest in where she was yesterday so all these questions shows your real and serious intention and your attention. We like that. We in Ukraine have very uh, funny anecdote about how Ukrainian uh, men are attentive to Ukrainian women. So, like the lady did something with her eyebrows shaped them went to a special place and create a nice shape and in the evening she asked the husband how do you find my new eyebrows shape or something and he was reading newspaper and keep telling her oh they are cool they are cool they are cool so she kept asking every evening and she kept giving her the same answers and one day she put uh, on her this guest uh, you know protection mask uh, and uh, actually she asked the same question and she was keep telling that, oh, your browsers are really cool. So it means uh, they never pay attention. So our men can be like that. You change the color of your hairs, absolutely. You change the shape of your hairstyle, for example, you went to a hairdresser, or you change the color of your nails. And we like not just to show oh look at my nails how do you find them we like like you say oh wow you you made the new nails mm, what a nice nails blah 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 of course when she's more confident in you and in your relationship feel she will ask you by yourself you know how do you find how do you like do you think better red color of hairs or black one what do you think will suit me more that's understandable but at the beginning if you notice some peculiarities that's great i will tell you one more funny story as an example myself uh, my husband uh, used to tell me compliment okay but i hate when she says attention really like today you look amazing you know what that may sound really strange and even crazy for you but what i think okay he's telling me today you're looking amazing that means that yesterday i looked worse than today but yesterday i remember he made a compliment again to me and he said i was looking really nice and beautiful but today he emphasizes, so means yesterday he was artificial. Yesterday he, li he lied. So he said just like, you know, as a standard words, oh, you look nice today, right? So today, ah, oh, today you look much more beautiful. So be careful with such things. We Ukrainian ladies are crazy and we can interpret your words absolutely in a different way that's actually probably the enigma and mysteriousness of our ukrainian ladies so be careful and number 12 talk about the future that's very important if men talk about the future together ukrainian women will automatically think that the conversation is serious your attitude is serious and you plan something serious with her therefore uh, therefore her interest in you will increase so just flirting when she understands it's probably for one week or two weeks or nothing serious that's another attitude and of course she may change inside the attitude to you 
But if she see, if she see, sees you are interested in future and in development relationship, that will make your position higher and she may look at you from different angle. And number 13, remember all the info. Absolutely very good and excellent tip. And one more example uh, from my own experience, I will tell you. So every woman will be impressed by your knowledge of your pet peeves and personal things like the most favorite breakfast dish or the name of her sister. That's very important to know. Uh, and as for me, my husband couldn't remember for many years uh, the exact date of my birth and the exact date of our marriage because that was almost it was different months but all was 2020 like let's say i have a birthday 24th april uh, <coughs> and we got married let's say 23rd january so once after two or three years of living together of being married i asked him when we got married and when i have birthday and the guy got shocked and stuck you know frozen and i was absolutely offended and furious and i told after three years of living you can't remember the date of my birth oh my god that was a huge scandal after that <laughs> He made a note and the calendar in his phone in order not to forget. So I trained him well, actually, you know. And now if you ask him all those dates, he know them. Like if you even if you wake him up at night, he will tell you without any mistake because he got too scared. He will confuse those dates once again. So be careful with such details. Remember them as much as you can. And actually mm, try to listen here attentively because between lines and during the conversation she may give you a lot of information by small details and if you confuse them in the future uh, she may think you are not attentively listening to her or you simply don't care so be careful with that right and number 14 guys be direct the easier your delivery is the better you will understand each other don't make secrets don't play around so if you want to ask something uh, just better be direct and open in this case also will be better option to you to get direct answer and number 15 be sincere that's for sure every woman all over the world loves a genuine and honest man um, yeah we don't like when uh, men lies even in small not worthy details we listen we used to listen very carefully we remember what you are talking about and in two three years sometimes even if you change the facts or in four click ah two years ago you told me blah 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 so remember about these things too so guys that's it for today as for my brief list of main tips for you and now i am ready to answer your questions i'm getting back to comments first of all want to say hello to everybody thanks for joining me today yeah i see you have comments and uh, very happy to see all of you on this wonderful uh, on this wonderful saturday international health coach jack hello Privit. Vivasius, uh, Vivasius, Vita. Probably I'm not pronouncing this word correctly, but I understand that something really glorious. Yeah, hold on, the light will come. Yeah, orcs are getting desperate as Ukraine counteroffensive has already begun. A low key, quiet stages. Yeah, the orcs are screwed. Massive counter offensive will push to the sea of Azov. Orcs are evacuating massive amounts of heavy duty military equipment out of Crimea storage areas. Then the Sevastopol oil depot attacked by pain coming. Absolutely. Yes, I agree. Especially, guys, they getting crazy and absolutely insane last week. We got sirens just nonstop. Just nonstop. Even now, before stream, I was drinking my coffee five minutes ago and I heard absolutely huge explosions from the nearest village. It's around maybe... 10 kilometers away from us, from my house, I mean specifically, by direct direction. And uh, 
shooting, 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 and shooting, keep shooting. So trying to scare away civilians, trying to make panic, uh, and the whole atmosphere of something really bad is coming. You know, they want to scare away civilian people. By the way, good fact that Ukraine will get soon some um, radiation detection, um, detection devices, kind of sensor devices which actually will help uh, will help to evaluate uh, the level of radiation immediately and uh, actually uh, these detector devices will help to to keep the evidences actually whose guilt it is in these uh, radiative explosions because they say uh, they can explode some uh, radiation stuff or some nuclear stuff you know something like that so we need that and that will be all over um, ukraine set up all these devices we'll see we'll see by the way from yesterday massive rocket attack which we mentioned uh victims uh, the number of victims are growing because uh, still few people died even in hospital so for now if i'm not mistaken oh 27 people something like that yesterday was 21 to 20, then 23 and now by now is 27 so unfortunately in dnipro when uh, when they attacked just private house guys just just ordinary private house and mom and two year old daughter of her uh, were killed absolutely nothing left almost from the house just burned rubble you know that's it just hard to imagine hard to imagine and yesterday they got feed, uh, today they got feedback yeah to oil storage in Sevastopol burning cool i would say absolutely amazing show video yeah so bad times really bad times but we'll see yeah <clears throat> international health coach hey vita my smv increased for sure after i finally bought my new motorcycle this week oh my god it is so sexy and fun and chicks dig it on yeah baby lol <laughs> cool 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 uh yeah motorbikes um, shows the masculinity that the guy is brave you know strong risky um, yeah exciting exciting uh personally i don't like motorbikes i'm afraid of them i used to drive motorbikes one uh when i was younger with my friends and they are no motorbike um, motorbikers actually but professional ones and that was just one trip with them on motorbikes and that was enough for me till the end of my life and i will tell you my husband keep asking for motorbike for many many years but i say categorically no at the beginning no and so far no and always will be no the only answer i said you will get will be only no so i don't let because i think it's too risky too risky and uh, too too many victims but you know i'm too like precautious too much i am control freak you remember guys so <laughs> i try to control everything and the things which i can't control so i try to avoid so yeah but yeah motorbikes definitely kind of image of being sexy yeah what what privit and hello gregory rivera hello uh, i look lovely today thanks thanks i'm 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 very 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 sick and i was laying till the last moment of the stream hopefully i won't cough because today i start coughing and cough is really horrible really horrible horrible i prefer not to check my fever but i feel i have quite big quite high but you know how person psychology works until you don't know uh how high your fever is you are working you are doing everything and you are on your feet you know you are standing strong but if you see 
on this device. Oh my God, high numbers. You immediately start to feel much worse. So I prefer not to check even. But thanks for nice words. Thanks once again. Mm -hmm. John, uh, good day, Vita Sunshine, good day. Yeah, we have a little bit of sunshine right now, by the way, but the weather, guys, really disgusting here. We have kind of hurricane. Oh, my God. All those plastic boxes I, I cover, I protect my small young plants on the garden. They are flying away because too strong wind and gloomy and cold. Hopefully next week we are missing warmth, you know. We are missing warmth. Yeah. Yannick, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. I know you are a busy guy. Thanks for spending this hour with me. Thanks. What, what? Vita, so Ukrainian women prefer humble men over... <clears throat> One second. My child tried to move my lamp. <laughs> carrying away the wire uh, over braggers. Uh, not always, what, what. All people are unique, you know, unique. Some uh, like reserved men. That also depends on the age, you know. Younger girls, of course, they will like some more activity, being modern, fashionable, you know, maybe dangerous even because... We all know women like bad guys, unfortunately. At least they are not they they are not for that intermarriage with such guys, but to have some relationship, like spicy relationship, okay? You understand what I mean. Women, unfortunately, sometimes too stupid to like really bad guys, but at the same time, you guys also like bitches. And don't even argue with me. I know that deeply inside, or not even deeply inside, you all want really good, calm, reserved, um, understandable woman to get married with. Because with such women, of course, it's much easier to develop relationship, to be sure in her, to be confident in her, right? Uh, to understand her better, to know what she wants. But at the same time, the bigger passion, guys, you have always two spicy, bitchy girls. That's for sure. Because with such girls, you never get bored. You are constantly, you know, on a high emotional level. And you, you are more excited all the time. And I know a lot of examples when people get tired of each other just because they are too emotional, both, you know, maybe young or the same age, same hot tempered. And sometimes they get tired, they split, they divorce, they separate, and they start to look for something different. As I said, more reserved, more wise, more calm. You know, the person from whom you know what to expect because you want to feel secure. You want to be sure. You want to be sure in tomorrow. You don't like surprises or some extraordinary explosions, you know, emotional explosions. But as practice so shows, after some time, even if you enjoy such type of relationship and you you know come down and you start to feel finally i found what i need i can relax i don't need to rush i don't need to be stressed all the time i don't need to think what she wants or what she expects or why she is offended or what she will make tomorrow if something you know came into her uh, come into uh, comes into her mind but but unfortunately, you still guys prefer beaches. Yeah, that's my firm belief. So what, what? Hopefully you got the answer and you're satisfied. You understand, guys, what I mean. <clears throat> 
Tracy, good afternoon, good afternoon and good morning to everybody. Yeah, thanks for coming. You are an early bird. I know I wake you up <laughs> constantly because for you it's too early. Yeah, sorry for that, but I am happy to see you here all the time. Shh. The puppy is roaring because my younger daughter uh, touched him while he is sleeping and he reacted immediately like, don't touch me. <laughs> So, yeah, funny guy. But what? Vita, that woman was probably jealous because she was after him, his attention herself, but he was giving it to you. No, she wasn't jealous for sure. She is married uh, with um, a friend of my husband for many, many, many years since school. So I guess it's around maybe, oh, around 30 yeah, 30 years, around 30 years. They had some bad times, difficult times. And I was on the side of, of, of him because that was the case when the person just tremendously get bored. When people sitting in separate rooms, watching different uh, movies. Honestly, I can't understand that. I can't understand how that can happen in family. So she was knitting all the time baby's heads. Why baby's heads? I don't know, because they didn't have baby at that time and never planned to have that once again, but just like a hobby or making crosswords, you know, all this stuff in newspapers. So uh, absolutely <clears throat> boring and atmosphere of stagnation when people actually don't care already anymore but he stayed before of his younger daughter because he tremendously adored her and she also adored him so now finally they find the common language mm, he's at the war field by the way in the very hot place yeah and uh, after 30 years of being together and like almost total desperation, now their, their relationship absolutely great. I think they're like in love. They miss each other. So war changed also the attitude to each other, uh, the values and the things which we really should appreciate. So. Now they have some plans for future, they save some money, and of course, hopefully he will come back safe and alive. Yes, because he is the godfather, by the way, uh, of my younger daughter. And he was the man who introduced me to my husband, actually. So, yeah, probably it was some kind of jealousy, but not to that, in, not in that way. I mean, so not that story. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Vita, at least he remembered your name. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was happy that after three years he didn't confuse me with someone. But that happened once or twice, you know. That is very interesting how we Ukrainian women can react on some things, you know. Um, at the beginning of relationship, he explained me about <clears throat> how his life was with his ex-wife, uh, actually. Uh, just some normal things, not like blaming her or, you know, making him as an angel and her as a devil, not like that, but something about family life or something, you know, when I ask some questions. And uh, she had a sister, younger sister, and as far as I understood, uh, the sister had absolutely ideal body ideal body. Yeah. And he was, and he was describing me that not even thinking that I can be jealousy and have such a evil bad memory. So he said absolutely innocent phrase that she she has the sister of his ex-wife had an absolutely perfect body, no gram, no one gram of fat and no one gram of cellulite, you know. Attention. Even me being at that time, sorry, I will boast a little bit like being perfect physically in the best physical condition, you know, absolutely the same, very skinny, shaped, 
I was going in for sport, no cellulite or fat or something. But I remember that phrase by now. And even now, right now, that's kind of anecdote, family anecdote. I say, ah, yeah, I remember no one gram of fat and no one gram of cellulite. Not like me right now, right? And he said, oh, my God, you still remember. Oh, my God. So absolutely innocent phrase. Absolutely innocent mentioning about another person who, whom I even never saw, you know, and he will never see. But I had it in my mind and keep telling that from time to time, you know, due to some funny situation. But we always laugh from that. But he said, oh, my God, how bad memory. Bad, I mean, in this way, you know, I mean, I remember bad things very well. Even what happened 10 years ago or some word, you know, not cautious word. So be careful with such evaluations of another women, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Tracy, how about a double negative compliment? Hmm. You look much less, not so beautiful than yesterday. Is that going to get a slap in the face or laugh? <laughs> much less, not so beautiful than yesterday. Yeah, you're gonna get your slap. You're gonna get your slap. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> you know, the best form because oh, you look so amazing today. Oh my god. But yesterday you got almost the same phrase because especially at the beginning of relationship you always try to look amazing for him, right? You never go into uh, go out in pajama. You always try to have makeup and to see in your best way, right? And if even you personally look into the mirror yesterday going to date with him, it seems to you you were looking amazing and he was making such eyes and today he makes the same eyes. So you, you, you start to think, okay, yesterday was a lie because why he, why he just didn't keep silence yesterday? Because means if I'm looking today much better than yesterday, means yesterday I wasn't looking so nice and it was a fake compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, hello, hello, Naughty Vita and everyone. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Hello, hello, Naughty V. We miss your naughty jokes, Jacob. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What, what? Your question. Vita, you talked about unique dates and gifts and that they like eccentric men, but how does this fit into, uh, into Ukrainian culture? <coughs> because we are traditional. So we always plus, always coincide with minus, right? Plus with minus. I don't believe plus plus can be good if it's total plus plus. Uh, sometimes that's not good. You should be different anyway. So if we are traditional, so sometimes we may like some eccentricity. Uh, I mean, just to impress her, just to, you know, to get some race of emotions uh that can that can be fine because not not all people like eccentricity not all but that can be really mm, you know to drive your attention can be a good uh, method can be a good device yeah but if you're not eccentric you shouldn't be eccentric just try to be as much natural as you are, though I know it's difficult, it's especially at the beginning of relationship, because every person, you guys and ladies, they will try to show their best sides, uh, just not to scare the partner away and to drive him more, more and more, you know. So, but that can be really a bad game. That can be really a bad game, like. Um, also, when, when we started to date, my husband tried to seem really soft and sweet guy. Um, and he used a lot these bunnies and sunnies and honeys, absolutely a lot. He think, like, I will like that, as all women like, mostly. But I hate that. And that, actually, by the way, his sweetness, his sweetness, was the factor which pushed me away for a few months, for several months. 
and I uh, because I'm not that kind of, that type of person. I'm not sweet myself. I'm not sweet myself. I can be rude. I can be different. I can be sweet, but I can be rude. I can be brutal. I can be different, but I don't like these sweets. La, 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 you know. And uh, when he was constantly like that. I really, I really couldn't understand what's wrong with him because by his actions, he was absolutely great man to get married with, you know, to rely on, um, to, to have as a partner next to you. But something was wrong with that. And I couldn't understand what specifically. And after one more serious quarrel, because I, I am not typical woman you remember so i was trying to show him as much negative sides i have just to prepare him for the long future perspective that he can understand with whom he will be dealing and if he will be okay with that then i can be like a bonus you know i can be like an ideal woman for him for this type of man not for all of course far from that um but after some serious quarrel he decided probably that I don't deserve all that sweetness and that's time to deal, to act like a man. And that was the moment when I start really appreciate him as a man. So uh, this scenario may give you some maybe tip, some instruction because, and we talked about that after, after many years, sometimes discussing how it was at the beginning. I say why you were so fucking sweet i hate it you know he said now i know but before i didn't knew i was trying to look as best as i can but i say there's something unnatural in that but maybe some ladies will like i didn't but that was really funny that was really funny when he start to be as he is even rude sometimes you know with his own decisions or being stubborn and oh here we are finally i see a man not just sweetie guy you know finally i see a man and of course after i start to tame this man <laughs> so this scenario you know the first scenario you know guys yeah just to entertain you a little bit <laughs> But what, Vita, for example, we are taught that if you smile for no reason, then you are considered an idiot. Absolutely agree with you. I don't like smiling people without any reason. You are really considered to be an idiot or fake. Sometimes, guys, I will open you one secret. Probably you never heard about that secret. We have this prejudice uh, towards specifically American people. Because you guys smiling all the time, seeing each other, saying hello, and even to uh, to strangers. Like if you want to ask something or something, you say hello. You know, Ukrainians think these smiles artificial. You shouldn't smile to strangers. I mean, if there is no reason. I mean, not some spe special circumstances or something. So, Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, would that not cause doubts, concerns in a lady if you behave in a different way? Oh, you, I, I hope what, what you won't smile like, a, like an idiot because you are far from idiot, okay? You're a great man and very smart and wise. So I don't think you will smile without any reason. Yes, smiling like in a normal, natural way while meeting her hello and looking at her and smiling or smiling from her jokes or or if something funny yes but it's not typical for us when we say hello to some people to make this wide to open smile i will tell you uh, the example you remember we discussed with you some video i saw in tiktok or somewhere some, somebody sent me about the reaction of American citizens for a Ukrainian girl uh, walking along the streets. And there was the moment, probably you also saw that short video, but there was a moment then lady came into the bus, Ukrainian lady, and one American lady saw her, she understand she's from Ukraine by her uh, folk and traditional costume. And she was saying, 
Hello, I'm very sorry for what happened in your country. That was exactly like that. So that, to my mind, uh, sounds and seems really like an idiot. You are talking about grief, uh, about sad things while it's smiling. But it's in, in your culture, that's normal and typical for you because you're talking about sad things, but at the same time, you want to show your attitude that you're positive towards the person. But for us, that seems like, uh, like not sarcastic even, but like something strange when you're talking about sad things and smiling at the same time. Yeah. Juan, <laughs> Vita, the brain prefers sexy tractor over sexy motorbike. Absolutely. You got me. Yeah. Hola, Vita. Hola, 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 Juan. Happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> you understand me. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so, guys, you see, we had a very uh, good con con conversation today. Alan Weeks, привет, Vita. Как дела? Hello. It's nice. I'm a little bit sick, but we have fun today. Uh, you see... Uh, describing methods how to attract the attention of Ukrainian women. Actually, nothing special. You just need to know some peculiarities and specific of mentalities. That's why, guys, I mean, if you think, if, if, if you have some typical scenario for your, for your dating, right, which you used to have in your country, but you're not sure how our women will react on that action or body movement, you know, something like that. You always can ask, and I will tell you, is that appropriate and how will be the reaction? So probably that will help you to avoid some mistakes and to get some positive impression from your lady. So guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a couple of minutes, guys. What I want to say, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, same time, 4 p.m. Ukrainian time, which is 9 a.m. Eastern time. I want to say absolutely million times thanks for everybody who joined me today, who came <laughs> to my live stream. Hopefully, the information you got was useful and funny um, to you, and this hour wasn't a waste of your time. I will be waiting for you tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to discuss... We're going to discuss, we're going to discuss what's the topic. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Give me a second. Probably somebody is more interested in this specific topic. We'll see. I will tell you, uh, should you look for a, a Ukrainian woman who already speaks English? So that will be the topic for tomorrow. So I will be waiting for you, as always, here at the same time, at the same place, guys. Don't forget, don't be late. I wish to all of you absolutely wonderful and nice Saturday. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your day off. Whoever is working nice and easy working day. Love you all and see you all tomorrow, okay? Was really happy to see all of you with me again. <laughs> Goodbye, guys, and have a great day. See you tomorrow.